in Chef Debbie's kitchen. Yes, you just saw me draining a big pot of pasta. And you know why? Because today we are going to make Mimi's famous mac and cheese again. And I've strained a whole pound of Jamaica because I have some real special visitors that are here today and they are going to come one by one as I call them into my kitchen because Brianna, my eldest granddaughter <laughs> this little, when he was little, this was the recipe I started making and then I had another granddaughter, Borjana, come on in and she and Brianna, whoa, loved my famous mac and cheese. So one day Brianna says, Mimi, you should name it. You should write it down. So I did. And it's because of you that we have this recipe. And it's because of you both who love to eat it. I also have two more that are coming in soon. But these guys were my inspiration for my mac and cheese. They kept saying, yeah, more, more cheese, more cheese. So normally what happens here is Brianna is the one that usually, come here, come over here. Tell me what's in here. Cheese, mozzarella well, cheese, um, cheddar cheese, and cold beef. Yeah, so we've got a... Three cheese. Three, oh, wait a minute. And then we got... And Parmesan cheese. Yeah, actually it's my Pecorino Romano, but we always call it Parmesan. So we also have... How many cheeses now? Four. Four. And I always have a little bit more to throw in. And we have some nice half and half that we put it in. Now these guys have never had it with the breadcrumbs on top. And I'm going to invite my other little ones to come in soon because they love mine also. So, you guys come here. And I want you guys to come in the background and just stay there and make sure we do it right. This is Barrick here. See, Barrick. And Genesis, these are just two little guys that love my famous mac and cheese, Mimi's famous mac and cheese. So they're going to help me. Genesis, can you get up? Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> can you say hi? <laughs> you know what, Brianna? Get this one. Out of sight, out of mind. The cream cheese ah, and butter. Cream cheese, butter. So how many cheeses is this, the mathematician? Five. What? There's five. How cheese. many cheeses do we have in here? Five. <coughs> five. We forgot that one over there. This is a five. This is going to be, my mac and cheese is going to have five different cheeses. And as Brianna mentioned, well, let me just dump this in first. This is a combination of, this is hot beer. That's why I don't want you doing it. We got how much macaroni did we cook? A pound. A pound. A little louder, honey. I can't hear you. Oh, a pound. A pound. Okay. And then we just kind of, this is something I've done a little bit differently. We've melted one eight ounce cream cheese and a stick of butter. And now we're going to put in some cheese. Just a little bit. Wow. Just a little. Just a little <laughs> bit of cheese. Right, Genesis? Yes. I bet you want to get your hands in here, don't you? I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, yes. I think I might need some help stirring that. Go ahead, Brianna. Actually, do you want a little bigger? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Here, excuse me. One. Let's get a little bigger one. <coughs> there you go, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Genesis, why don't you dump this in there? That makes how many cheeses again? Five, Five cheese. Five. Now, Barrick, this is our pitcher of milk. We're going to put the... Is that, can you get that out, Genesis? Yeah, you can use your hands. I want you to take this pitcher and start pouring that in there to help your sister. It'll help make it um, blend well together. We want to marry all these flavors. Keep going, sweetheart. That a girl. Genesis, you're helping your brother. Oh, my. Well, yeah, helping. Yeah, I think she's just got her hand on it. Thank you, Barrick. Now, Genesis, what do you think, Bo? Do you think this is the Parmesan cheese eater? Do you think we should have put more in there for flavor? Do you think that was enough? Yes, I need more. It needs more. Brianna, you think it needs more? Always what does. do you think? Yes. We always could use more Pecorino Romano. No such thing as too much cheese. Yeah, isn't that the truth? So, 
Now we're going to do something a little different while she's measuring that. I melted a stick of butter. Here, you want to just put that over there, so I don't think we need that one. And Genesis, I want you to stir in, this is a whole cup of panko breadcrumbs, which is nothing other than Japanese style breadcrumbs. They have a nice crunch to it. Can you see her okay over there? Lift that way towards Yeah. How you doing over there, my, my little miss? It looks all pretty straight up. Okay, so I've got a two-quart casserole here for you, Brianna. How about if you hold it for me, and then I'm going to do the scraping. Is that okay? Oops, did I get it on you? I nope. hope not. Okay. So we're going to dump this wonderful mixture all over. Oh, my. Look at that. Mm-mm. Yum. Sorry you got to see the back of the pan. but you'll Oh, sorry. No, I'm talking to our, our, our people that are watching us. Okay, look at this. Yummy. Look at that. Look at how creamy that is. And that looks really good. Can I check that out for you, sweetheart? Let's see. You want to get this, the butter. Once the butter is coated on all the breadcrumbs, it's going to have a nice crunch, a brown crunch on the top. You're going to love it. Now, these guys have only heard me alter this recipe. They've never tasted it with the crunch on top. So I didn't make as much. I only used a cup because I figured maybe just a little bit of crunch will go a long way. Now with your hands, just take it and put it on the top. Okay, Brianna, Borjana, did you want to help at all? Nah, she's just ready to taste it. She says, forget about that. Good job. How about if I do this and you just kind of spread it around too, sweetheart? What do you think, Genesis? Does that feel good? Mm-hmm. What does it feel like to get all that butter on your hands? Greasy. <laughs> Greasy? It's fun though, isn't it? Yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. You can wipe your hands on this, sweetheart. There it is. Mimi's famous mac and cheese. What do you think, Barrick? Think it's going to be yummy? You want to see how heavy this is? Come here, muscle man. <laughs> is it heavy? Are you sure? What do you think? <laughs> All right, Brianna, open the door. We're going to stick it into a preheated 400 degree oven for, let's see, how long do I cook? About 20 minutes, maybe 25. We'll check it. We want to wait for the crumbs to get nice and golden brown. Then we're going to come back and we're all going to get a spoon and taste Mimi's famous mac and cheese. Come here, Bear. <laughs> You're going to taste it too. Well, we've baked our famous, Mimi's famous mac and cheese in our oven, preheated at 400 degrees, well, actually about 375, for about 30 minutes, right guys? And we've had it sitting here on the counter for about, oh, seven or eight minutes, just to cool it off a little bit, because boy, this is, oh, look at that crispiness. Oh my goodness, it's still so hot. I'm gonna put some down there for you, Genesis. And you're welcome. Whoa, look at how stringy and stretchy. Why is that? What kind of cheese did I put in there that makes the stringiness, guys? Mozzarella cheese. Five cheeses. Yeah, mozzarella. Oh, you got that right, Borjana. <laughs> what made it get so stringy? Look at this. Is the mozzarella. And you want to give a fork to everybody? Here you go, Borjana. And everybody's going to take a plate except me. I want to know from the horse's mouth, all my grandkids, <laughs> you're going to tell me how her famous mac and cheese tastes. You know, you guys, you came, what, 3,000 miles to see Mimi and Bubba? They came up and they've been here for about a week and having a great time, making favorite memories. And this, is it too hot? Oh, I'm sorry. How is it, Genesis? It's really good. Is it really good? What's it taste like? Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste any different with the crumbly? Do you like these on top, the little crispiness to it, Barrick? Mm -hmm. You're kind of like this? That's okay. How about you, Genesis? Um, I don't really taste the breadcrumbs. I just taste, I just, it's really crunchy. Okay, it's really crunchy. And you know what? When you make something, guys, you always want to add a little crunch to a dinner, and that's how you can develop a really good meal, by adding a lot of texture, 
color and all the different flavors and then you've got a beautiful famous mac and cheese, a simple one that you created and a little bit of gourmet using those panko breadcrumbs. So if you want this recipe, where do we go find Mimi's recipe at, can we all say it together? MemorableFoodDishes.com <laughs> Go to my website and get this recipe and enjoy it with your family anytime you want a nice comforting macaroni and cheese casserole. Ciao! Everybody say ciao ciao! Ciao! ciao. <laughs>